In AutoCAD, when you work, sometimes you may be hiding certain objects temporarily. This is to focus on a particular area where you work as well as to focus on certain objects. In such a situation, conventionally, you keep all the unwanted objects in a particular layer, then you freeze or you turn that layer off. But there is a method in AutoCAD using which you can temporarily suppress the display of certain objects without using layers. In this video, I am going to deal with this particular topic. So let's get started. I'll start with the first method to hide objects in AutoCAD, which is pretty straightforward. I have a plan over here and this is a dining area. I want to incorporate some details on this dining area. So I just want to temporarily suppress the display of this dining table. So all I have to do is you can just select the dining table, right click and click on isolate. And here we have hide objects option. Just click on that. So the dining table is hidden. Now, if I want to get it back, just right click and go to isolate and you can click on end object isolation and the dining table is back. So this option will let you hide any desired objects on the screen temporarily and at any point of time you can bring those objects back. Now there's another option by which you can do just the opposite. Suppose if you want to retain only the dining table and if you want to hide rest of the objects, all you have to do is just select the dining table, right click, click on isolate and here click on isolate objects. Now just the opposite happens. Now if you want to get all those objects back, just right click, isolate and click on end object isolation. Now all those objects are back. Now we come to the next method to hide objects temporarily when you work, that is by using the erase command. Suppose if I want to hide this dining table temporarily, all I have to do is just click on erase command and select the dining table. Now just give enter. Now the dining table has disappeared. Now I can easily get the dining table back by giving the oops command. So I'll type double OPS for oops. Oops command restores the most recently erased set of objects. You should always memorize that it restores the most recently erased set of objects. That means if you have planned to retrieve that particular object which you have erased, you should not erase any other object by mistake. So you should be keen in that. Next, I'll show you the procedure to hide an object from plotting. Now this particular dining table is kept on this furniture layer. Now I'm going to plot this area. So I'll click on application button, print. Now I'll click on previous plot to restore the parameters of the previous plot. Now I'll just preview my print. You can see that the dining table will also get plotted. Now my requirement is to hide the dining table from plotting. For this, all you have to do is select the dining table and transfer the dining table to this particular layer. That is to the def points layer. Def points layer is automatically created by the software when you create a dimension in AutoCAD. Now I'll just transfer it to def points layer. Now I'll try for a plot. So I'll click on application button, print, now I'll click on previous plot. Now you can preview it. So when you preview, you can see that the dining table is hidden. It's not plotted. So this is a simple procedure to hide an object from plotting. Once the plotting is done, you can give undo command to bring this object back to its original layer. So I'll give undo. Now it's back to the furniture layer. The same effect can also be obtained by freezing or turning a layer off. I'm going to turn off the furniture layer by clicking on this bulb icon. The furniture layer is turned off. Now let's go for a print preview. Now you can see that all the objects in the furniture layer is not displayed. But if your requirement is just to suppress the display of that dining table, that cannot be achieved using this procedure. Then you have to create another layer for the dining table, transfer the dining table to that layer and turn off or freeze it. But here, def point will always remain in AutoCAD whenever you perform dimension. So you don't need to create an additional layer. Hope this video was informative. 
please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel Sabir Cat if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. Thank you so much for your time. Peace be upon you all.